and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Trindamir Thresh. We're going to be trying out a new deck here. You can see up on the left hand side of the of all the decks they're doing on our 12 hour stream today to celebrate hitting um, 10 sub goals is uh, it has the two D's next to it. That means it's a donation deck. So this this deck was a viewer submitted list um, and uh, and and if you want your deck played on stream, play it through Masters and um, in Ranked, play five games there, or non-Ranked if that's your, your decision. It's just a $10 donation, and the donation link is down below for those of y'all watching on YouTube. So yeah, this this list I did not I did not build, so we're going to be playing it together, seeing how it goes. Um, we're playing three Trindamir, and I'm, I'm a little skeptical on the Trindamirs, but could be good, could be good. We're, we're pairing Trindamir kind of with Atrocity, because that's a pretty good combo where like during combat we can do eight damage to the opponent and still have the nine nine attacking we can have rekindler bring back trindamir and um and it's not bad to have like if we have one trindamir in play like if if we have a leveled up thresh because all we're doing is like chump blocking early we just have all these chump blockers try to level up thresh thresh can attack and put a trindamir into play which, which that is awesome and if that happens, and if we have another one in hand, then we'd have Battle Fury. And that's also still really good. Battle Fury giving plus eight, plus four. Um, we have one Babbling Bjerg to draw Trindamir in here and kind of fill our the middle of our uh, curve out. And that's kind of about it. Um, also have like the Ledros Atrocity combo. That's also a pretty good combo. And also a one they who endure to go with the Atrocities, so... Here we go, we're going to try to chump block a lot, get to the late game, and win with some big heavy hitters. Let's play some games. We'll be playing five games. So thanks everybody for joining on this Tuesday. Glad to have everybody in here. This is what I do every single day. Um, usually I start streaming um, basically right around this time, um, 47 minutes ago, is when I normally start my stream every day. Uh, but today, you know, we have our special 12 hour stream. And also, um, the early streams have been pretty successful. You know, we've had a lot of viewers in here just, just today. And so I'm gonna start doing some more early streams. Right now, my next early stream that I'm planning on is Friday. Friday, I'll be uh, starting the same time I started today, basically six hours ago. So we'll be doing that on a Friday as well. So I kind of want to wait to chump block with these until we have Thresh in play, but that could... Uh, that could end up hurting us if our opponent has a Scythria and they're all fearsome and we can't block. It's a good draw. Get him, Thresh. So basically, don't want to let them just play their five drop. I like passing. Definitely think my opponent would have, uh, you know, like I would challenge, kill their four drop, and then they would play a new, um, 
five drop. I'm gonna block with Omen Hawk. Hmm, is that right? Instead of Hapless Aristocrat? Because if I block with Aristocrat, we still have the five things out, and I kind of want to clear up my board a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. That may end up costing me, I suppose. We'll see. Want this thresh to level up if possible. Pull a Trindamir out. Right now, this would be five out of six if this works like this. Oh, I guess I probably no, yeah, because Ice Veil Archer wouldn't kill that, right? So I could vile feast my own thing to level up Thresh. I don't want to do that. I want to see what I drew first, though. Maybe I should have blocked their four four with my three one, and then and then Valve visited it. I probably should have just done that. I probably would have just been the better play. But then again, they may have, you know, like they had all their spell mana and everything. Maybe they'd have a trick to keep their badger bear from dying. If I'm scared of repost, repost on either one. Saves them. Kills my thresh, I guess. Here, repost here doesn't. Why is Vi not blocking? I guess scared that I would Vile Feast and remove Barrier and then Vi would die. That would make sense. Could have like Withering Will to remove the Barrier. Battle Fury. Battle Fury is awesome. Okay, Lyridus One, you have a similar list, but without They Who Endure, Ledros, and Babbling Beard. Okay. What what are you playing instead? Of those. Bannerman. Uh, I was thinking they were going to play something else.
What's the point of pumping this up? Oh, it will stay alive. The toughness gets pumped. Duh. Never mind. Figured it out. Duh. I was just thinking from the power immediately. I was thinking, why not pump this up so I don't get to block it, but yeah. My light for Avarosa. This is a big trend to me. Uh. Coming to save the day. What a wrecking. This is one big trend to me. Uh. What what can they have that stops this trend to me from killing them? You know, obviously they could have, like, Detain, but, like, something realistically the Bannerman would play. Can't really think of anything. Heck, I guess I play this, too. Yeah, I guess like like double single combat. Tell it to the fists. Okay, you play Hearthguard, Skitter, and Soul Gorger. Okay. So they're gonna have repose single combat. Still dead, right? Yeah, still dead. Boom. Uh, maybe I should just battle fury again. All right, first game, that was awesome. We had all of our Trindamirs. We had Thresh pulling in Trindamir. That was awesome. I kind of feel like if I would have gone for the, the play of killing their Badger Bear to level up my Thresh, I think they would have had that Repost in hand. So they had the four mana. They're kind of playing like they were keeping four mana up for Repost. Okay, you also don't play Ruination and only one Atrocity. I really like the Atrocities in this deck. This, uh, that's kind of like the combo with... Of course, you don't have Ledros or uh, or the They Who Endure as well. But yeah, Trindamir, They Who Endure, Ledros, all of those with Atrocity. Same deck. I guess it's Demacia Day. A lot of people trying out Demacia right now. Like this. You know, Sentry's a two for one, Battlingbeard two for one, Vile Feast like, kinda two for one, and then Big Ruination. Wait, I have Sentry to play. Whoops. Feed Demacia. Nothing is 
escapes my watch. In Avarosa's name. Plan's probably like, what's going on? All right, nice. Slowing him down. Slowing him down. Eyes blazing, brightest torches. For the glory of Demacia. But, uh... It is a pretty good curve. You really want to have Ruination late, not, not on turn six already, but you really want to have it later. Honestly, I should be I should be doing that to the Badger Bear, shouldn't I? Because they're gonna they can just challenge with Vi, pump up Vi, the one power and and challenge. At least that's what they should be doing. How they passed? Unbelievable. How are they still just passing? Uh, yeah, any way to make this deck work with one Trindamir and one Thresh? Uh, you'd need to play the... Two more they who endures instead of the, for the other Trindomirs. Feel the sizzle. That would definitely be the first step. Coming at ya. All right, I, I passed back. I was hoping that they would they would pass or like they would play something and then I would ruination. No it just never works. Nobody ever plays into ruination. Never works. Yeah, that makes sense. Wanted, yeah, wanting to try the deck without using wild cards yet makes sense. Maybe they play something pre-combat and I get to Ruination. That could happen, right? Just got done playing your Twisted Ezreal deck. I liked it a lot against Control. We struggled against Curve Out Demacia a couple of times, but it looked really good against Control. Can't have 14 mana next turn, can I? So Rekindler doesn't actually bring anything back. You? 
Yep, and it's already up on YouTube too. Slow down, will you? Set her free, you monster. Yeah, I don't have the map. Yep, that's that's why my plan is Battle Fury Atrocity. Do not Kill them. That's my big plan right now. Oh, I have to do this pre-combat. Well, I guess I have atrocity. I like I have to do because I was gonna say like they could just pass back and just let let that happen, only take nine damage. Yeah, if I could have one more man that we could play both Battle Fury and Atrocity, that'd be great. Fall by my sword. Let rage fill your soul. Rage. Let rage fill your soul. Dude, Battle Fury is great. We're just winning all these games on Battle Fury. Yeah, you know, the Demacia decks don't have don't have an answer to turn to me or Battle Fury. Alright, 2-0. Oh. That babbling Bjerg has been good. GG's. Babbling Bjerg to grab Trindamir has been nice. I don't think I need to keep Trindamir in my opener. Yeah, nobody's packing detain and, and so far so good. I don't want them to turn on plunder. I don't want them to plunder us. So we're just doing that. We get to plunder. These are dangerous, man. Uh oh. All right, looks like they finally get plunder turned on. All the cards now. That card's stuck. Oh, there it goes. Okay. These old eyes still see far and clear. They're out there. I'll spawn. Wow. We're jealous. Ridiculous. And then, you know, these things are going to die and they just draw more cards. Sure. Why not? Play that too. You done? Nope. Not yet. Play that too. Oh, man. The box would have been great to have last turn. <laughs> just kill all those. Um... Unfortunately, I can't level up Thresh before we attack. We can kill four, th four things. We can't level up Thresh before the attack, though.
Might as well do it now to keep any of these one these one ones from blocking. If they play if they play two creatures before combat, then I play the box. Oh, all oh all they only need they only need to play one. No. Because they they were gonna get a new spiderling, which we'd be able to kill with the box. And then if they just played like one other thing, then we would play the box, kill both of those, level up Thresh, attack with Thresh, put Trindamir into play. Would have been glorious. What? Really? 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 Makes no sense to block that. The creature with life steal would make would have made no sense. I won't stand by. Maybe they would play this Dragon's Protection as slow speed, and then I could have got them with that also. So maybe I should wait. And maybe they put it on Twisted Fate. Man, they really don't like these spiderlings. <laughs> Do the life steal first, of course. Keep get them back up to twenty. Gives me something that doesn't cost seven mana <laughs> to play.
Let's attack. So what if I sacrifice to Atrocity, will it still be stunned? This is my question. And then will it, will it count as being dead for Rekindler? Yeah, I think it does. I think Trindamir would still get stunned. That's how I kind of feel, too. Because, yeah, he doesn't die. So he should still be stunned. Yeah, he's still stunned. Trindomir doesn't actually die. Never lost a fair game. I'm a people person. Not exactly fair. Yeah, I should have just killed it in response to the the red the red card I should have killed. Should have killed Karma in response to the red card. Instead of clicking okay. Played into that also. Should have done it on like the Ice Veil Archer or something. My arrow won't miss. I have 17 cards left. Wow, they didn't play anything else. Was not expecting that.
I haven't had anything die. Rekindler does, hasn't gotten anything, wouldn't get anything back. I wanted to have Thresh leveled up first. Yeah, Rekindler is not active. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. No, Trindomir Trindomir doesn't actually die. It, it just it levels up. Like if it would die, it levels up instead. So it doesn't die, it levels up. If this happens, this levels up Thresh. Eyes open. Took too many cards. Too many cards from me. Next time, I think they took good sword hand. a 10 or 12 cards. I think 10. I think they took 10. Yeah, I think they drew 10 of my cards. And then uh, that doesn't count the Avros and Sentries that they took. You know, they took two Avros and Sentries that I killed with Withering Will, and then they got to draw new cards from that. And it was just too many cards. But Karma and Twisted Fate, both great. Both great. All right, we're still two and one. Nothing wrong with that. So the Ice Veil Archer matches up well against Elise, but it's really easy for them to kill Ice Veil Archer. Withering Whale would match up well against Brood Awakening, but if they don't have Brood Awakening, it's not matching up well. This would have been a lot easier if they just didn't have turn two Elise. This would be a lot easier. So but they do have turn two Elise, so I don't know what our plan is, except... Okay. There we go. I was going to say except for just Babbling Beard. What's your hurry? Darn, they actually blocked. I thought I was going to have a free attack. A chill in the air. Sounds 
of prey. Oh, up there in the mountain! Smooth as silk. I don't want to play Thresh and then they Thermogenic Beam Thresh. out of here. Hmm, okay. Don't have a great plan right now for uh, Vi. We'll figure it out, though. Hit him where it hurts. Trouble coming at ya. This is what I don't have a, a great plan for. I'm going to be just attacking with Rekindler. Bleh. Cast of that Withering Whale too early. Get him, turn to me. Turn to me, let's go. This is in the Demacia version of I. They actually have removal. They can have, you know, like vengeance and stuff like that. I want a battle fury. Would be nice to be able to play both Thresh and Grasp next turn. Like I could Grasp, kill the Vi, and then Thresh challenge something else. Don't get to do that. Hmm. So, kind of sounds like he says, Ledros is pissed. So we'd have 12 mana next turn.
If I don't play this... Nothing escapes my I guess technically I should be doing the Thresh last, but oh well. It's not, not a big deal. Like, we're not leveling up. Like, the Thresh isn't going to be able to level up. So, no big deal. Another Vi. Hey, Sky, yeah, happy Taco Tuesday. So I don't love my options. I'm gonna do this and then thrash post combat. Ugh, that kills my Trindamir. I wish I could I wish I could have double grasped and killed Vi, but each grasp would only, only does two damage to Vi, so you can't double grasp and kill Vi. the thrill of battle. Should just let damage happen and not not kill their ledros. Oh wait, I couldn't let damage happen. Right, I would have taken lethal. Right, but okay. I get excited. Mm. 
his old eyes still see far and clear. Close game. Close game. Which kind of hate when you draw when like you don't have anything to do early, but then like late game you just draw your Omen Hawk, Hapless Aristocrat, Hapless Aristocrat, and you're just like, why, why do I have these cards? I don't know. The only thing that I, I probably like, I must have burnt. I burned through my Rekindlers too easily. If I would have waited on them. Right, yeah, once... When Trindamir dies the first time and just levels up, that doesn't count as dying. Let's give this a try. So you don't get to, you know, you don't get to bring it back with Rekindler or anything else similar. See the border from here. I like that card. Not and ready. We're playing that card. Leaping into action. I don't. I don't know what that question means. Yeah, so Chronicler of Ruin doesn't work on Trindamir. Right. I don't know what that question means. Which level is max from treasure I can get? That could be the re weekly rewards. There is no, there is no max on that. 13 is kind of the max, but then after 13, it has unlimited future, um, you know, unlimited levels after that, where they just give you a capsule for each level after that. My cam is out of sync again? Okay, hopefully that helps. And triple Averroes and Sentry, that's really good. In this kind of matchup, that's really good. So I want Thresh in play before stuff starts trading. I don't want to use any of these cards on any of their stuff. Why can't we have Withering Whale? Why do we have to keep draw drawing Grass the Undying? Ugh. A chill in the air. Hey, 
Hey, thank you, Sanctuary Tank. 14 months. Thank you, that is awesome. Sixth sub of the day. Ruination. So they shouldn't get any drains. They get to draw their two cards. Draw four cards. So we clear it up. I guess, yeah, they get that drain. Pretty awesome having all those entries. So four, eight. So they got eight cards. I have five. So they have three extra cards. Basically those three sentries. me. I am Trendomir. I don't have a good Trendomir voice. That was pretty bad. So I guess they have Grasp the Undying. So I guess... No, I guess they just wanted one one. Everyone's a garden. Ah. So it's been their biggest thing. It's died. Has it been Neverglade Collector? They haven't had anything any followers with three power die, have they? Is Neverglade Collector. Try me. Oh, I shouldn't even be doing this because I get drained. What? You want a spider and me not have a spider? It's just a spider. Perfect life total. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just absolutely perfect. If I had one less, or if I had one more life, I could stay alive. Too much damage with all those little two ones. Those Avros and Sentries were awesome. Yeah, that's true. The the 
the one point I did not heal from the Vile Feast. It's true. They were at negative two, though. I was only at zero. You have bested me this time. All right, so there we go. That was our Trindamir Thresh deck. I have to say that that um, Trindamir actually looked pretty impressive. It was difficult for opponents to deal with and everything. It looked pretty impressive. The problem was was like the the rest of our deck not so like like this early stuff not so much like hapless aristocrat. Omen Hawk didn't really do anything. Um, Ice Veil Archer, kind of meh. Basically, all that that kind of stuff is just really slow. Like Rekindler, honestly, like we we never really did stuff with Rekindler, and by the time we did, it was just way too late. Um, so it was kind of like like you know Ruination, Rekindler, like that kind of stuff. Like wish we had wish we had good curve out. You know, like if we were like curving out like a Demacia deck kind of thing, and then just had um, Trindamir plus like Atrocity at the top end. Um, so maybe if this deck was more like was more like Shadow Isles Allegiance with you know Elise, um, which then you can't play Thrash, of course. But then, like, Arachnid Horror and Mist Wraith, and then the Shadow, the Shadow Owl's Allegiance card. Um, I don't really like the, the can't block stuff, but things that keep on being able to block. But, like, Wraith Callers. Where's Wraith Callers? There they go. Wraith Callers. Like maybe focus on, like, Wraith Caller kind of thing. Or maybe not. Maybe you go, like, Freljord, go Avaros and Sentry. You know, just kind of com a combination. Starlet Seer. This, this could be a good Starlet Seer. Deck. I kind of felt like I just wanted more, you know, like, like Vile Feast looked really bad. Black Spear was okay. Black Spear killed some champions for us. Like, it was okay. But I didn't really like Vile Feast. Didn't really like Hapless Aristocrat. Um, the Bjerg was great. The Bjerg was great. But honestly, Thresh is just kind of pretty slow. And yeah, Re Rekindler, we didn't have champions that were dead by that turn. So maybe less control-oriented, like Ruination, like get rid of that. Even maybe get rid of Vengeance, just less have less control and just have like more pressure and be able to attack a lot more instead of control. And then whenever you do have Trindamir, your opponent has less removal because they've been using it on your other stuff. And so then it, Trindomir, and also their life totals less, so Trindomir can finish the game out afterwards, and especially with Atrocity. I feel like maybe that would be better, is, is to have, you know, curve out aggressive stuff instead of control stuff. Um... Yeah, you can always get the deck list here on the top right on Mobile Addicts. The, the top right hand corner of that has the the code. There's an export code button, which you can click for the code. But that's also it right there. Hi, Yad. All right, so there we go. That's deck number five today of our 12 hour stream. Looks like we're probably not going to be getting through all 10 decks. We're almost at seven hours so far of our stream. So we're probably for our 12 hour stream. So we're probably not gonna be getting through all five. We're not really playing very much aggro. And so our decks are, are going pretty long. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how many we play today. But there we go, that's deck number five. This donation deck, thank you so much for it. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave any comments on the deck or any questions that you have as well. Thank you so much for watching. So I'm Trindamir Thrash and I'll see you for the next video.